In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about how to manipulate a class shape transformation or a call fan transformation of an airfoil in OpenVSP. Now, you can choose a CSD transformation from the drop down menu, but usually what will happen is you'll start with some known airfoil, be it a NACA 4 series or a 6 series or what have you. Or if you happen to know the call fan transformation for the airfoil, you can just go straight to it. But you'll probably click this fit CST button of various degree. Now by default, this is up at seven, but you can back it off down to three or four or bump it up to whatever you need. But when you click this button, it's going to try and approximate this shape using the call fan transformation or the class shape transformation for this. So let's click on that and watch what happens. This brings up the CSD airfoil editor in which case you can enforce a continuous leading edge radius, which means that your lower surface A0 is set to be exactly the same as the upper surface A0, which is the, the parameter that defines the leading edge here. And it goes all the way back, in this case, to seven, which goes back to the trailing edge. Now, for simplicity, let's demote both of these to three. And notice how I'm clicking on this, it's ever so slightly changing this shape but not by a whole lot. And that's because it's doing a pretty good job approximating a four series with just these few parameters that we've given it. Now, if we come in and start to play with these, you can see where all of these parameters, where it's lofting the curve, are actually being implemented. So if we bump up zero, we bump down one or two, bump up three, bump three down, and then start to play around with the trailing edge, you can see that each of these correspond to a specific location on the upper and lower surface of this airfoil. And you can very quickly smash or manipulate or alter the shape of this airfoil into something that just isn't going to work at all. But you can use a higher uh, number of degrees, say promote this up to five, or even up to however high you want and you can use it to loft a curve between a very interesting shape. Now, when you're trying to use something, say like fit model, perhaps, to try and capture uh, an STL or a mesh or a cloud export from a CAD program, trying to force a CST to match that geometry probably isn't the best way to go. If you're using a CST, you're using it for a very specific reason. And if you really need to match an airfoil, your best bet is to try and find the class of airfoil that it happens to correspond to and then recreate that in OpenVSP. Only as really a last resort should you be using a CST to try and force the approximation using something like fit model.